Halloween is quickly, quickly approaching us now and it is time to stop playing and actually get my costume together. I know I said I wanted to do cowgirl Barbie. We are not doing Barbie. We are not doing anything Stranger Things. I said I wanted to do Stranger Things last year. I said I wanted to be Scoops Ahoy Steve. We're not doing that. We're not doing manly costumes. We are tapping into our feminine side this year. I've picked up reading. I am now on book talk. Never thought I'd find myself here ever in my life. I used to read a little bit whenever I was younger and then I just stopped reading. Wasn't a big fan but then I got this urge one day walking through Target and I saw A Court of Thorns and Roses and I said mmm I have heard good things about this book but I don't know if I want to spend $20 on a book that I don't know if I'll read. I picked it up, carried it to the checkouts, went took it back to the book section, put it down, made my way almost back up to the checkouts again and then went back and got it and actually purchased the book and I have been obsessed. Absolutely obsessed. It's taken over my life like I'm on book four now and I don't know what I'm gonna do when I finish book four and book five because I have what I have to look forward to because I'll have finished the series up through what has been completed I've heard that they're making that she is writing more books that she's supposed to have like three more out but that another one is supposed to release next year but my point is what am I supposed to do with my time until then I've picked out some more books to read like Fourth Wing is on my list and Throne of Glass but Throne of Glass and Crescent City those series those are <clears throat> every time those are next we're not here to talk about the books that I'm reading we are here to talk about my Halloween costume because currently I have less than a week until Halloween Halloween is next Tuesday I have my costume figured out I have everything purchased for my costume I've just got to piece all the parts together. My costume this year is Night Court Feyre. I absolutely love Feyre and Reese. I need my own Reese and in my life. But I'm also starting to get to where I like Nesta too. I didn't I didn't vibe with Nesta in the first book. But after book three, I really vibe with Nesta and I, I've spoiled a couple little things for myself about book five and I think it's really she might end up being my favorite based off of what I learned. That's a topic that we're not supposed to be getting into Kayla. Prepping for my costume. Obviously my inspiration was something along the lines of what she wore under the mountain but not quite as revealing because I am not that brave. This is the art that I'm taking inspiration from. Now, am I gonna do something exactly like this? No, but I'm going to do my absolute best to get it as close as possible. It's just a black dress with like a deeper V cut and it's got slits all the way up to the waist. So I had to wear a bodysuit underneath it because I'm not trying to expose myself. I got the dress, the bodysuit. I got me a little crown for the night court. I've gotta figure out a way to color match these. But I also have ears. I might have to make them a little pink to match my skin, but I got my ears. And then because I'm a little extra and I want to do the bond tattoo, but since she has the eye in the center of her palm and I'm afraid that I will wash it off before the day is over, I, I planned ahead. And I got an ink box tattoo marker. Now, if you don't know what Inkbox is, Inkbox is like this place that does temporary tattoos and you put them on and it looks like a light blue to begin with, but then over 24 to 48 hours, it darkens as it develops and it will last for one to two weeks. So I won't be able to wash it off. And that's a good thing, but it's also very scary because if I mess it up, I'm just, I'm stuck with it for a couple weeks. Our main focus today is to get my dress sparkly so it's not so just bland and just black. So we needed to have a little bit of sparkle for the stars. I got a glitter spray but a lot of people said that it ran out very quickly. So just for backup I got this glitter it's supposed to be like hairspray I'm pretty sure. We'll just put that on there too if we end up running out. I also got some of this 
because I'm not gonna be able to wear a bra with that dress. But I'm not going without anything, so we're gonna use that. All right, let's stop rambling. Let's go get the dress and let's actually start making it look the way I want it to be. And nice and pretty and sparkly. Why am I so close to the camera? I'm sorry, I've been all up in your face this entire time. I'll try to put a little bit more distance between us. Sorry. But like I said, very plain, very simple, but I absolutely love it and I think I'll wear it whenever I eventually go out on a date. And this is the glitter spray that I got. This is Shiny Glitter Spray from IBCCCNDC. Based off of the picture, that I'm using for inspiration. It looks like everything is sparkly except for the V and then the band across her waist. So I'm gonna use duct tape and hope that I can cut this out the way that I want it to be. So everything else is sparkly except for that. You know what, we're not even gonna duct tape the band part. We're just gonna risk it and go to spraying the way it is now. I genuinely don't think that I can take that off and it look even. Let's see, my wall is probably going to be very sparkly after this. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. Yeah, my wall is going to be very glittery. The whole avoiding the band thing didn't work out, but you know what, it's okay. <laughs> this stuff stinks. This stuff does run out quick because just that little bit and I'm already out. All right, so here's a predicament. I am a little, a little stuffy if you can't tell. So I know I need to go ahead and figure out what kind of bargain tattoo I'm going to do, but my phone is dead. So we are pulling out my handy dandy little, little computer and we are searching Pinterest. If you saw a star in on my Pinterest, no you did not. I think I have some favorite tattoos saved. I did have favorite ones because we need to get started on this now so it actually has time to dry and time to uh, develop. I am fresh out of the shower. I exfoliated and everything so I am good to go. I need to take these rings off though. Oh, I also have different rings in mind for my favorite costume. I did want to do her star engagement band but I don't have that so I do have a sapphire stone ring that I will put on my finger instead. Get down. Does anybody want a cat? I have one here. She's clingy. Does anyone want a cat? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, so this one, one of my favorites. That is how I'm gonna do the palm and we're gonna start with the palm first. Can I do these without the patches? I should be good just to draw this and not worry about it. I'm gonna start with the palm, but the palm we are actually gonna put the stuff on. I can't tell, are there eyelashes on that? That looks so stupid already. I have the rest of my hand, doesn't turn out like this because I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a real big fan. Okay, so a uh, little update before I, you're looking at my forehead because I'm going to give you an update on this. Um, it worked, but it smeared in a couple places. Don't talk about the glitter on my hand. It smeared like right there near my thorn and then on the middle finger. But other than that, I think it looks okay. I am impatient, so I tried on the costume completely. I just want to show you what that looks like because I am absolutely in love. Keep in mind, I do not have on my bodysuit and I also do not have on the boob tape. So it will look a little bit different when that is put on. But I have to show you how this looks right now because I am absolutely in love. And also keep in mind that my hair is not going to look like this. It's actually going to be curled. But stop talking and I, I need to show you what this looks like right now. What do you think? Do I look like High Lady of the Night Court? Because I sure feel like it. 
oh my god i put on that ring that i was talking about i just i feel so magical right now who allowed me to look this good i am the high lady of the night court now where where's we sand i am so so excited to wear this for halloween i am not a heel girly but these look so good I am so excited to curl my hair in this costume. And of course I'm gonna have pictures. Don't talk about the mess on the floor or in the background. But of course I'm gonna have pictures. Um, thank you so much for joining me on my journey to becoming High Lady of the Night Court. I really appreciate all your love and your support. We sand, sweetie, come home. The kids miss you. I miss you. The night court misses you. Okay, I'll stop now while, while I'm ahead. Happy Halloween! And I'll see you in the next one.